In this video clip, we are going to talk about logarithm functions. Huh. How is the logarithm functions defined? If a to the x is n, then x can be expressed as log base a to the n. When this expression, uh, this expression will be called logarithm. Huh. For example, right here, we have a 2 cubed is 8. Uh, let me write this cube well. Uh, 2 cubed equals 8. Uh, that's the expression right here. Then how to write the logarithm? Huh. Then you may write it 3 equals log base 2 to the 8th. Here is the base 2 and here is also the base. So base is always the base. Huh. And then in the exponential expression, we have a base to the exponent to find out the power. And the, in the logarithm is with the given base and the power, we are going to express or to find the exponent. So in the mathematical history book, you will see actually logarithm, they say uh, in the history book, logarithm is to find exponent. Okay, sometimes they say huh, logarithm is exponent. It gets you confused. Huh. Yeah. I want to say logarithm is to find the exponent of the base right here. Huh. Whenever you get confused, think about this example I give you uh, right here. 2 cubed is 8, then 3 equals base 2 to the 8th. Huh. So, the first video clip about logarithm is to let everyone know how to convert those two expressions back and forth many times. Huh. Before we go that far, uh, we have uh, two special cases. One is a equals 10, another is a equals e. Huh. Here e is a Euler constant. Which equals what? Which equals mm, 2.71828 uh, is an irrational number. Okay, there are two special cases for A, for the base. Huh. So, if base is 10, like 10 squared is 100, then you may write exponent is log base 10 to the 100. 10 is a very special number. 
So we are going to skip it. We just write in this way. Huh. So whenever there is nothing written here on the base, it basically tells you the base is 10. Huh. And this kind of logarithm, like log uh, any number, let's say 1000. Huh. Nothing is written here, okay? It's called comma log. Huh. Two comma. Comma log. Comma logarithm. Okay? That's one special case. Huh. Common logarithm. Uh, we have uh, written right here in this way. Log base 10 to the n huh, is expressed by log n huh, without, without writing base 10. Okay, that's one special case. Another special case uh, is for e uh, is for e so for example we have a e let me find a place to write here huh for example we may write e mm, let's say to the fourth is n Huh, it's n. Then how we are going to write the logarithm? That will be log base e to the n e cross 4. Huh. And since here is e, so you may write in this way. Uh, uh, this will be called natural log okay so another way to rewrite this will be 4 equals ln and then capital n and this one is called natural logarithm in our calculator you can calculate that directly Okay, you may also calculate that. Yeah. For example, on the calculator, you may calculate LM, uh, let's say, um, Y, uh, whatever you write. And these two numbers can be calculated directly. Okay, yeah, you may find out LM is some number. Okay. All right. That's the uh, two special cases. One is common log. Another is natural log. Huh. Okay. There are a few things we also need to consider. Is the following. Huh. We know any number, any number, any number, huh? let's say A to zero is one. Huh? Then how we're going to write this one? Then you will say base is always the base. And then the power would write here then logarithm is to find exponent so you may put zero here so this basically tells us for the base if here you have a number one then you always get zero as for what as for this case uh, two special values for example, log 2 
log base 2 to the 1 is 0, log base 3 to the 1 is also 0. The reason is 2 to the 0 is 1, and 3 to the 0 is also 1. Okay, that's one thing. Another thing is about this expression. Okay, so you have a a to the first is also a, right? Okay, and then you have a base, this is the base, is always the base to the power, this is the power, equals what? Huh. That's this expression. This tells us what? This tells us log base 2 to the 2 is 1. Huh. Since 2 to the first is 2. Log base 99 to the 99 is also 1. Because 99 to the first is 99. Okay, so those two expressions are very special. All right. Okay, another thing I may want to emphasize is what? Is the domain. Huh? Is the domain. You see, we have a log base a to the number. This number can never be negative or zero. Huh? This when n all the time needs to be greater than zero. Okay. Why? Here is the thing. Look. Huh? We assume this one is x, then how we are going to write it back, this one? We may write in this way. Huh? There's a to the x is n. Okay. Again, base is always the base. Okay. And the logarithm is to find exponent. So x was the exponent right here. Remember, this number a to the x is always positive. Is always positive. Huh. You put negative number here, you get a is positive. You put zero here, you get a to the zero is what? a to the zero is one, right? Yeah. You got positive number here, of course, then a to the positive number is positive. Huh. Here we assumed, please remember that we assumed a is what? a is positive. Huh. Mm. A is positive. Okay. See right here. Uh, A is positive. Okay. Of course, A cannot be equal to 1 because 1 you put here it does not make sense. All right. So that's the thing we got to remember is that N must be greater than 0 because a to the x equals n, and this number can never be negative. Okay, remember, 2 to the negative 3 is not negative, is what? It's 2 cubed down on denominator, which is 1 eighth, ah, greater than 0. Of course, 2 cubed is 8 is greater than 0. Huh. 
Again, 2 to the 0 is 1. Huh. I'm not going to write that. Okay? So, remember, this n is always positive. You put negative there, you're not going to find anything. Okay. Now, let's look at this example here. Uh, the example here is that we want to rewrite this one. Uh, want to rewrite this one like uh, 5 cubed is 125. How to write this exponent expression into logarithm? Uh, we know, and we know is base is always the base 5. And here will come this was the power and logarithm is to find the exponent. Exponent was 3. Okay. Similarly, uh, for the this question 2. Question 2 right here is base is always the base, base 2. Huh. And then you write original power here, and exponent is negative 5. That's for this question. Huh. Question 2. Okay, this was our question 1. Huh. Question 3. Uh, question 3. You may put her right here. Base is one fourth. So then you may write m equals log base one fourth to the zero point zero one five six two five. Oh. That will be for question three. Okay, so the first three questions was about convert the exponential expression into logarithm. Now our business is to convert the logarithm into the exponential question four. Huh. And we see here that will be what? Question 4 is 1 half to the negative third is 8. Huh. Question 5. Remember, the base was not written, it means 10. Huh. So point zero 0.01 equals negative 3. And then this gives us what? Gives us 10 to the negative 3 is 0. Point, oh, 3 zeros. So we got one more zero here. Point. Let me rewrite that. Oh. Rewrite this one. That will be zero point zero zero one. Huh. So here will be zero point zero zero one. Huh. Yeah. So remember when you have a three here, you have a three zeros here and the point is right here. Huh. Three exponent tells you how many zeros in front of one. Huh. Yeah. That's for question five. Question six. We want to know that here is natural log. So you may write is log base e. Huh. And then one over e squared is negative two. 
How do you rewrite that base is always the base? So E was the base. Okay. And then to the negative 2, E cross this number. Huh. 1 over E squared. And that's correct because in order to eliminate this negative sign, you have to put one upstairs. Downstairs, it's just E squared. Okay? All right. I'll see you next time.